And we're back live inside Studio 10. It is time for On Your Health, where we discuss important medical and health topics with the doctors of Florida Medical Clinic. It's the Bay Area's first clinic to merge both primary care physicians and specialists all under one roof. And today we're discussing the link between a common heart arrhythmia and stroke with cardiac electrophysiologist, Dr. Nadeem Khan. Welcome to Studio 10, Dr. Khan. Thank you for having me here. I so appreciate it. In a simple way to put it, you are an electrician of the heart. That's right. What we, do you do exactly? We have, we have plumbers and electricians for the heart. <laughs> I, you know, You're heart in the is, electrician union. Yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> heart is not just a pump. It has its own, what drives it is uh, electricity that it generates. And uh, let me show you uh, in this model that I have of the heart here. We have uh, two top chambers and two bottom chambers of the heart. Okay. Actually, and, Doctor, uh, if you could keep it up on the stick. Oh, no, so we, we can could, see it we, right, oh, right we got there. it right there. Yep, we got yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, hold yeah. It right let me flip here. this open. We have a master pacemaker called the sinus node here. Uh, okay. And that drives the whole heart. Every The 60 beats a minute or 60 to 100 beats a minute that you have, mm -hmm. it all comes from, uh, from this. And the heart, what it can do is, oops, let me put this back here. The heart, uh, what it does is it can sometimes go fast and sometimes go slow. I'm there to help diagnose these uh, problems and, you know, to see they can range anywhere from simple heart palpitations to anywhere from life-threatening arrhythmias or life-changing. Uh, so how do you know if you're having just little, you know, butterflies or if you are having something that could be a precursor to a stroke? We do a special diagnostic tests. The simplest one is an EKG, but we do longer term monitoring. We have patients wear monitors for a week to a month. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we even have implantable monitors mm -hmm. uh, for the patients. How do patients get to you? Do they go to their primary care physician and find out, okay, I definitely have something that's targeting my heart. Now I need to go see uh, Dr. Khan. Uh, patients mostly come through primary care physicians who direct uh, referrals to me. Um, patients also look look me up on the internet and come and see me because they have had heart palpitations. Though a lot of patients are aware of what's going on with them, mm -hmm. and uh, and a lot of uh, my referrals come from cardiologists as well. So I, I want to ask you uh, something about me personally. Sometimes when I lay down <laughs> on the couch, personal diagnosis. Time. Like like after eating, like after eating, sometimes if I lay down on the couch, I'll get that weird sort of a fluttering. And then, I'll, and then I'll sit up and it'll be okay. Is that normal or is that something that I should get checked out? Because I'm guessing I'm, I might not be the only person that it's, it's feels It's probably like that. normal. Most likely it is normal. But for people who have heart conditions, like those who have had heart attacks or have more serious trouble like passing out or uh, have neurological symptoms, they need to be checked out more in detail uh, to make sure what is bothering you. you need, it is more like what I do is more like detective work. I have to go in and see what exactly is bothering you and then I have to uh, prognosticate based on what I see. Is it a, ma a, me uh, uh, is it a means of getting surgery or uh, can you treat it through medication? How do you, how do you figure that out? I do, I do both of them. For those that are more life-threatening and challenging arrhythmias, uh, I do anything from pacemakers to defibrillator implantations. A lot of times I also can go into the heart and cauterize the spots or freeze the spots that bother you. Uh, you know, that I can do. Uh, the, uh, a lot of times we even uh, treat with medications. Explain, doctor, if you will, exactly what arrhythmia means, because that's sort of a really wide, broad term, isn't it? it encompasses a lot of things. It, 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 it's simple. Uh, in, in rhythm is normal. Arrhythmia is you're out of rhythm. You can be either fast or you can be slow. Uh, each of them ha have their own set of uh, uh, symptoms. And talk to us about diet in regard to overall mm. heart health. We've been talking about that a lot over the last few years, but I mean, it really does matter. I mean, genetics are one thing, but you really need to eat well to have a healthy heart, don't you? Absolutely, heart healthy diet is very, very important. Uh, as far as electrophysiology is concerned, um, uh, caffeine sometimes worsens palpitations. Uh, alcohol uh, sometimes triggers atrial fibrillation. Uh, you alluded to that earlier. Um, yeah. So uh, how for you is it working with Florida Medical Clinic? I would assume being somebody who maybe, uh, you know, you're maybe the last person that, that a heart patient will see before they're going to get treated in some capacity. Um, it must be really nice for you to have easy access to their medical records coming in. Yeah, I, I love working for Florida Medical Clinic. I've been uh, with, uh, with the group for about four years now. And uh, it just allows me to do my job. It's absolutely uh, very good for the patients. But for me, uh, I'm trained to be a physician, so I do that you know, mm. instead of being like a small business owner or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so is there a certain, uh, a certain point where you should get your heart checked on a regular basis? The older you get, do you recommend a heart checkup or should that be part of your 
your overall checkup, your, your annual checkup routine? I think your general physician would be able to make the determination. It, it definitely, you have to get your blood pressures, your cholesterols checked. Those are all maintenance issues. But if you have symptoms of heart palpitations or lightheadedness or any neurological symptoms, uh, certainly your primary physician would send you over uh, for a checkup. I, I've always wondered this. When somebody comes in with those paddles, the defibrillator, what exactly is happening there? There's a big bolt of electricity going between the, uh, you know, in the chest and it, it traverses the heart. And what it does is, I say that to my patients, it kind of wipes the slate clean of mm -hmm. the arrhythmias and the heart kind of takes over after that. That's 400 wow. watt seconds, yeah. isn't it? Isn't that what those we, are? We, we measure that in joules. Uh, you know, usually it's uh, 200 to 350 joules. There you yeah. go. That's why we don't do this. <laughs> we, we, right. we host a talk show. Hey, to learn more <laughs> about the latest advances in patient care and medical research, visit Florida Medical Clinic online at floridamedicalclinic.com. While you're there, locate the office nearest you, learn about their doctors, and even request an appointment with one of their fine doctors like Dr. Khan. Thank you for having me. Happy holidays. Thank you, you too. Up next, find out when to raise the bed.